Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. A paradigm is a world view about how to conduct a research. Paradigm includes the methodology, approach and ontology to conduct the research. These methodologies and approaches to research can help the researcher to conduct a systematic research. Traditionally, there are three branches of methodology. They are quantitative research approach which deals with numeric data, qualitative research approach which deals with observational or interview data and mixed methods which uses both these types of data. In this video, we are going to talk about quantitative methods approach. Quantitative research gathers data in a numerical form which can be put into categories or in rank order or measured in units of measurement. This type of data can be used to construct graphs and tables of raw data. Quantitative researchers use research to test a theory and they either support it or reject it. The research aims for objectivity that is without bias and is separated from the data. Experiments typically yield quantitative data as they are concerned with measuring things. Other research methods such as controlled observations and questionnaires can also produce quantitative information. Statistics helps us to turn qualitative data into useful information. We can use statistics to summarize our data, describing patterns, relationships and connections. Statistics can be descriptive or inferential. Descriptive statistics helps us to summarize our data and inferential statistics are used to identify statistically significant differences between groups of data such as data like intervention and control groups in a randomized control study. The nature of the quantitative research is particularistic and the approach of the quantitative research is objective, the research type is conclusive, its reasoning is detective, it uses random sampling method, it measures data, it has reason-oriented inquiry, its hypothesis can be tested, the elements of analysis is numerical data, its objective is to examine cause and effect relationship between variables and some of the methods used in quantitative research are structured techniques such as surveys, questionnaires and observations. Notable contributions to this research approach include E. H. Weber's studies of tactile sensitivity, Fitchner's development and use of the psychophysical methods and Helmholtz's research on vision and audition. Intelligence testing has long been an important branch of quantitative psychology. Francis Galton was the first to create a standardized test of intelligence and he was among the first to study to apply statistical methods to the study of human differences and their inheritance. He established the world's first mental testing center in 1882. Statistical methods are the quantitative tools most used by psychologists. Notable research areas in psychometrics include item response theory and computer adaptive testing which focus on education and intelligence testing. Modeling psychological processes are done through time series analysis such as fMRI data collection and structural equation modeling, social network analysis, human decision science and statistical genetics.
two common types of psychometric tests are aptitude tests which are supposed to measure raw intellectual ability and personality tests that aim to assess your character temperament and how you deal with problems i hope you like this video please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam thank you